So multiverses versus multiverses rivals two. Multiverses rivals two. Have you ever wanted to play a game with no shields, no grabs, iconic characters, fast movement? Well, then you would play rivals one. But have you ever wanted to play a game with no shields, no grabs, iconic characters, floaty gameplay, devs that will delete a character for two weeks, devs that will take down the game for an entire year for quality assurance and then re-release it with an even slower engine, offensive monetization, throw in a battle pass and you have the game of the year. Sounds like Rivals has some stiff competition, so what does Rivals 2 have going for it anyways? Well thank you for asking. We got shields. We got grabs. They even got McDonald. Oh, they don't have McDonald? Then why bother? Because the game's actually pretty fun. It's like if you took Melee, gave it smoother and more accessible movement, removed some of the bullshit, and gave it developers that actually care about the game. Now isn't that a novel idea? It's also worth mentioning that they probably won't price gouge you, at least not to this degree. It really does seem like they want to make the best platform fighter possible. But yeah, they also definitely want your money. You know, after thinking about it, maybe they will price gouge you, but at least we'll have a pretty sick game to go with it. So what's next? You're gonna say that multiverses killed off the potential of the entire entire platform fighter genre? Oh wait, yeah, they did do that. Point being, do you really want to support the mega corporation that sells you digital diarrhea, or the indie company that also sells you digital diarrhea, but at least this one is fun to play in? Let me know in the comments.